and most importantly, plenty of ice in the blender. Like, I seriously can't emphasize this enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what's up? Hey, Z. I'm helping our friends here with a little know-how mm -hmm. about building underground bunkers. You'll need one for asteroids, or Mothra, or global warming, or whatever. Hmm? First hmm. of all, stop building bunkers. Hmm. Second of all, Mothra is not a documentary. Hmm? You don't think that's how we're all gonna die, do you? Hmm, uh, hello? Bunkers are like the number one thing you need for when the world ends. Hmm. What? It's totally true. Well, it's not really gonna work. What will probably happen is you'll die sick and alone, riddled with diseases that no one can cure. Because of superbugs! What? Let me explain a little better in the realm of pure science. What? Oh, no, 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 no! No, I hate that place! No! <laughs> so, superbugs are just bacteria that have evolved to become genetically resistant to multiple forms of antibiotics. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that can be good or bad. Good bacteria helps you digest food. Bad bacteria can make you sick with gross infections like strep throat or the plague. No, don't say that. In fact, bacterial infections are still one of the leading causes of death in the world. <gasps> Luckily, penicillin was discovered. In 1928, penicillin was discovered accidentally by Sir Alexander Fleming when he left a petri dish full of bacteria open on his lab bench. Time for the weekend. <laughs> oh, bollocks. There's mold everywhere. <gasps> Wait a minute. It turned out the bacteria in the petri dish was getting killed by something created by the mold. Dr. Fleming recognized it as the first antibiotic, penicillin. Get out of here. Like all organisms, bacteria contain DNA, which is used to produce RNA, which is then used to produce proteins that aid in the function of the organism, as well as the construction and maintenance of the cell wall and membrane. Antibiotics work by stopping bacteria's ability to function. Penicillin does this by stopping the production of the molecules bacteria need to create cell membranes. When the bacteria tries to divide, it splooshes out of its own skin. Oh, I'm going to throw up again. Today in the United States, deaths by infectious bacterial diseases are only 1 20th of what they were in 1900, before any antibiotic chemicals had been discovered. An antibiotic? Ah, down the hatch! Hey, I feel better already. <laughs> Guess I won't need these anymore. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. Don't look at me! Look at what happens when you don't finish all the pills. No, don't. When you took that first pill, you didn't kill all the bacteria. The ones that survived had drug-resistant genes, making them less susceptible to the antibiotics. This doesn't mean they're immune. If you kept taking antibiotics, you would have killed those ones too. And now those resistant bacteria are free to multiply and infect you again. But this time, they'll be harder to kill because they're all resistant. I've made a horrible mistake. Maybe you didn't need antibiotics in the first place. Our bodies do have an immune system. So, it's not my fault? No, it's still your fault. Oh. Ugh, I hate farms. Here in the US, 80% of all antibiotics are used on animals. We pump our cows full of antibiotics to try and keep them healthy and prevent disease in crowded, unsanitary conditions. Although regulation has increased, this practice has created multi-drug resistant bacteria. Imagine a ton of cows filled with bacteria that are resistant to different things. Those bacteria move from cow to cow, and soon, all those bacteria share their different resistances with each other. This happens through a process called horizontal gene transfer. Bacteria share their genetic information with other bacteria using smaller, circular forms of DNA known as plasmids. This is a process called conjugation. So the cells are doing it. Sure. It's how bacteria can maintain genetic diversity. It's also how they can share drug-resistant genes with each other. Recently, there have been documented cases of TDR, or totally drug-resistant, strains of bacteria in people. That means if you get infected with, for example, TDR tuberculosis, there is currently no commonly synthesized drug in the world that can treat it. That's how the world ends. Not with a bang, 
but with the collective whimper of billions of people dying slowly no, and painfully. No. What is this? No. No, get me out of here! Get me out of here! So that's it! We're all doomed! Not yet. Scientists are trying alternate methods of fighting bacteria, like phage therapy, which is using specially engineered viruses to kill bacteria. Will it work? Huh? Maybe. <laughs> Wait, where are we? Is this your bomb shelter? Did you theme your bomb shelter as a tiki bar? Yeah, I made you one. Oh. Okay. 